Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, pretty much another video. This one is discussing the Capital Supremacy hotfix that I believe is released on the 3rd or so. Uh, that's what I've been hearing, that it's coming out on the 3rd. So we'll see. we'll see when it really comes out. But we're just going to go over this real quick and just talk about it and then see what changes and stuff is coming. So yeah. Uh, hey everyone, it's always uh, a nervous time within the team when a big new piece of content leaves the safety of the team and finds its way into your hands. We always felt that the Capital Supremacy was shaping up to be a great addition to Star Wars Battlefront 2 and we've been really happy with the feedback we've had so far. Personally, I'm enjoying it. I like the map, I like the playlist, I love the map, like the game mode itself. It's really good. Uh, in this hotfix, we've got some changes going live that will address the game stability. One of the biggest issues we've been targeting has been when you find yourself stuck on the deploy screen within the second phase transition of capital supremacy. So what this means is that after you capture the posts and you get on, you board the ships and you fly up to the uh, capital ships, instead of the game starting right away, it kind of freezes. Uh, you're unable to spawn. You're unable to continue. It doesn't matter how many people fill in the lobby. It doesn't matter if it's even teams. You just... You just won't be able to play. You'll have to leave the game and uh, research. So even if you search and you get put into the second phase, it could happen. <coughs> so uh, now hopefully they'll they'll get rid of that. Um, we've added some fail safes, which we believe will lower the risk of this from happening, and we'll be monitoring the situation closely. The <coughs> the AI and capital supremacy is a brand new system and is located online or server side. We believe they were causing some of the crashes we were seeing and have added some fixes we believe should address this. So sometimes during the game, you'll just get kicked to the menu or your game itself will crash. And what they're saying is that the new the new way that the AI are made, the new kind of client that they have for the AI is what's causing this. So if they fix it, hopefully they'll bring back the AI because uh, in my experience with the game mode, the AI is 95% uh, of the time better than my teammates. So I could really use those AIs. That would be great. Uh, Anakin Skywalker has had a minor balancing pass uh, affecting the damage and cooldown values of his abilities. We felt that while, <coughs> oh my God. while being the chosen one, he needed some minor changes in order to try and bring balance. Uh, reception to the new reinforcements has been really good and we've got some tweaks that are being included based on your feedback. We've lowered the damage slightly of Power Blast while raising the end damage of the E5. Uh, personally, the E5 damage should be increased and it should uh, shoot faster, in my opinion, because it's really shitty. It sucks. And I don't know why they would make it shoot slower and be more accurate when it's basically the same as the E5 uh, that the Battle Droids use, but lower damage, which doesn't make sense to me whatsoever. But hopefully they'll, uh, hopefully they'll get on that. As always, please do keep your uh, please do keep your feedback coming. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 team, this is some of the changes that they're doing. Uh, added a failsafe scripts to reduce the chance of inactivity. Uh, unreactive, sorry, unreactive spawning when transitioning between ground and capital ship phases and capital supremacy. Uh, additional server loggings has been implemented to further diagnose spawning issues. So this is what they were talking about with you not being able to spawn. Added tentative fixes for online AI causing server crashes. Uh, fixed the rendering issue that would occasionally cause the client to crash. Sometimes if you watch my videos, you'll see that there's some flickering going on with the rendering when you're flying and stuff like that. So hopefully that gets smoothened out. Uh, balance the damage and cooldown values for Anakin's abilities. So here's the nerfs. Uh, reduced retribution choke damage from 86 to 75 per second. Reduced retribution push damage from 80 to 75 per second. Uh, reduced passion strike damage, first damage, so that's the that's the basic windup um, from 50 to 40, and reduced passion strike last damage from 150 to 130. So that's the strike going down. So basically, that's after the windup, the hard stuff that really knocks you down. That's getting uh, nerfed. Increased passionate strike cooldown. So one second timer on it. Uh, reduced heroic might base damage from 100 to 70. Uh, I'm glad because uh, that thing is really OP, to be honest with you. Uh, balanced damage values for infantry weapons. Uh, lowered power blast damage 150, 140 per, to prevent one-hit kills against assault officer and specialist. 
I believe you can still one shot uh, AI with that one. Uh, raised E5 and damage from 21 to 30 to increase the weapon's effective range. Again, dice with this. Uh, increase the speed and increase the damage. It needs to be on par with the. with basically the art troopers. How can you add commando droids, but they're weaker than aerials? You know what I mean? They cost more, they should be stronger. Uh, let's see. Fixed an issue where players who join an ongoing match would occasionally get no audio during the boarding cinematic in Capital Supremacy. <coughs> Fixed an issue that would prevent the art troopers from gaining progress. When playing on Phase 1 maps, Camino and Geonosis. <coughs> Fix an issue where Darth Maul's chokehold ability would occasionally be inaccurately activated from a distance when being used at the same time as another hero's ability. Uh, now, if you watched one of my videos, <coughs> you would have you would have seen uh, us defending the Venator ship and then Darth Maul using his Force Choke Push ability. And it stays there. For some reason, it just keeps staying there. So when you run up, it's always activated and it keeps throwing you back. Hopefully they'll look into that one and, fi and fix that one. Uh, fix an fixed an issue that prevented players from completing the scoped achievement when playing as a specialist. When fulfilling the criteria against AI on Capital Supremacy. Uh, fix an issue where Ray and Finn's ability UI for the insight and undercover abilities would not always be fully visible. Uh, revise the pink color of the ARC Trooper's helmet scanner ability for consistency. It's it's like light blue right now. I don't know if they if they changed it. Maybe they'll change it orange. They need to do something about the uh, commando droids. Red eyes, kind of that ability. It's complete trash. It's it doesn't last that long for some reason, and it just looks horrible. Like the, the blending is just trash. To be honest with you, it should be like at least uh, red ping, just like what the sensor does. Uh, fixed an issue where Geonosians would occasionally be flying through a ground through the ground on Geonosis Pipeline Junction West. So you've seen that in the videos, uh, mostly from other YouTubers and myself. Sometimes they fly through rocks, sometimes they're just flying through you, sometimes they're just... I don't know what they're doing, but that's uh, hopefully that's getting fixed. And yeah, so this is a hotfix. You don't... Usually with these hotfixes, you don't really need to download anything. It's it's like already installed. You don't, there's no like down period. There's no waiting time. It's just it should automatically be installed for the game. But we'll see how it goes. So April third, it should be released. We'll see how it is. We'll see Anakin's uh, nerf, not really nerf, but just slightly reduced damage. But we'll see. <coughs> so that's it for uh, for the hotfix release notes. If you have any questions or anything, what you want to see changed, just put put it down in the comments. We'll go through it. I'll try to discuss as much as I can with you guys. And we'll see what you guys are excited for. If you're happy with the Anakin nerf, I know I am. And if you're good with the buff or the commando droids. Uh, also, people are saying they should be faster and jump higher like they do in the Clone Wars uh, animated series. So hopefully, they'll do something like that. And yeah, so Arc Troopers nerf. Um, that's pretty much it. Commando droid buff, Anakin nerf, R trooper nerf, slight, slight nerf, and nothing else really. So thank you guys for watching. If you got questions, again, just leave it in the comments. I'll, uh, <coughs> oh my god, I'll try to go through it as much as I can. And uh, <coughs> oh my, <coughs> oh my god, I don't know what's happening with me. And then we'll go from there. So pretty much, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully enjoy, and uh, again, questions, leave it in the comments, and I'll try to get to you, and I'll catch you guys and girls in the next Battlefront 2 video. Peace out.